just six laps away from halfway point here in the NASCAR Nationwide Series in Nashville presented by Pennzoil. And you see NHRA qualifying coming up later tonight, 1030 Eastern Time. Finals tomorrow at 4 Eastern Time. The Traxxas Torque Truck Series presented by Amsoil, 5 o'clock Eastern Time tomorrow. That's on ABC. And, of course, NASCAR Now presented by 5-Hour Energy, 10 a.m. Eastern Time tomorrow on ESPN2. Sort of pre-race edition prior to the cup race at Pocono. And, of course, on Mondays, the popular roundtable discussion, 5 Eastern Time, NASCAR Now on ESPN2, led by Alan Bestwick. Looks like I'm going to have to sit home all day tomorrow watching TV, doesn't it? I'm going to be there. Kyle Busch now has cycled back around as we are just now four laps away from the halfway point. Kyle has led twice for 76 laps. And obviously, uh, they must have made some adjustments to his liking. That air pressure really helped me turn. If I get it to the perfect mile an hour, there it cuts. It's fun to listen to Kyle describe his craft and to know that what he just said is it's not me slowing the car down to get to that perfect mile an hour. He's driving that thing as much as he can every single lap to get it to operate correctly. Now, Andy, would that be fun to adjust on a car for a crew chief like uh, for a driver like that? Oh, or is that tougher when he has to drive it so hard to get it to work the way you set it up? No, Dave, it's good to have a guy that drives that hard. Uh, anytime you've got a guy that pushes the car like Kyle Busch does, it so it exposes what the car needs quickly, and that that helps the crew chief make decisions real easily on what to do and and, uh, and adjustments to make. So. That's exactly the kind of driver you want in the car. I, I like that type of driver. One thing I like about Kyle, from what I hear from a lot of people I talk, he calls for his own shots a lot. I want this shock. I want this spring. I want this air pressure. A lot of the drivers just say it's pushing or it's loose and let the crew chief engineers all make all the decisions. Kyle makes a lot of those decisions himself because he's in the car. He knows what he wants. And he has a great relationship, great chemistry with Jason Ratcliffe. We saw there on the near person on the box a moment ago. Pretty good battle here, uh, brewing for 10th position. Trevor Bain and Kale Gale. Gale in the 33, Trevor up high in the 99 car. These are the last two cars on the lead lap. You see if you look just behind them, there comes Kyle Busch. So they're all not just racing each other, they're racing to stay on the lead lap. Kyle Busch will come by and get the cross flags, uh, signifying that we are halfway home here in Nashville, Got a Tennessee. Got against the wall, guys, in turn four. There's a 26 and the Red Wings up against the board. Yeah, 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 yeah. What's going on? Brian Kozlowski scrapes it and it will bring the yellow out for the third time. So exactly at halfway we are under yellow flag and now we uh, crew chief. Everyone came down and pitted. Uh, well, these guys pitted back on 68, so got to believe they're going to be coming on for uh, fresh rubber. Oh, yeah, they're going to come in for tires and make a few adjustments here and see if they can catch Kyle Busch. Get a little reset. Yeah, this basically can get everything back in order. I mean, there were so many haves and have-nots out there that this caution flag is one of the first ones we've had. Got to get everything straightened out. It's getting darker out there, too, guys. Track's cooling down a lot. Cars are getting tighter. How many times have I heard you say that they're going to come in and adjust see if they can catch Kyle Busch? Yeah, I know. That's, uh, I'm sure a lot of guys are getting frustrated at just how fast this 18 car has been. He's been very hard to beat. Well, Kale Gale and Trevor Bain were loving this caution flag right now because they were close to getting lapped. Really I was watching him out. Second place, Brad Keselowski was actually running lap times very, very comparable to the 18, but he was six seconds back. This helps him close that gap. The 47 car, there's Michael McDowell, who qualified third. He will get the Aaron's Lucky Dog free pass. So a good break for Michael, getting him back on the lead lap. That'll now put 12 cars on the lead lap. It is Bush, Keselowski, Edwards, Coleman, Bliss, a top five. Then Leffler, Stephen Wallace, Light, Keller, Gale, Bain, and now McDowell. Those 12 cars on the lead lap as we work caution here for the third time tonight. All the guys up on the wall, ready to go. You see right here, Keselowski will try to close this gap just a little bit as they get to the entrance. Get you about an inch. And here they come down. Feet. Let's go down to our Toyo Tires triple pitch. Shannon. Well, Doc, one thing you don't want to hear your driver say is we went the wrong way. That's exactly what Carl Edwards says. He says the car is just too loose, can't get back to the gas. 
They're going to go one round down on the left rear wedge. Four tires for that 60 car. Dave. Second place, Brad Keselowski will make some changes to that race car. Air pressure adjustment in that car just a little bit tight. Your leader car, Bush, will come down pit road. Four tires for him. Another air pressure adjustment. Front tire carrier, Brad Donaghy, will slap a piece of tape on the front of that car as well because uh, just a little, it's right on the edge of loose and tight. There goes the tape on the car. Well balanced for Kyle. He goes off second. So, wow, a little uh, strategy there for Jason Leffler, plus five spots. Get, gets right sides. He had some pressure lifts. And a piece of tape on Kyle Busch's car. Uh, that'll cost him a spot. Maybe it'll help his race car. We'll update what that will do with our experts when we come back in just a moment. A special night that he will never forget. June 12, 2004, Kyle Busch looked to be the man, but suddenly runs out of gas and pulls it off in the grass. But uh, how about a win? No, oh, yeah, they somehow on fumes. Jason Leffler able to come down on the flat of the racetrack and pick up a memorable first career victory in the NASCAR Nationwide Series and gets that coveted Gibson guitar here in Nashville. He's our in-race reporter. He is our leader. Let's speak with Jason. Jason Luffler, Rusty Wallace, ESPN. You got us? Got you out clear, Rusty. Hey, buddy, we were hearing early that you having some steering problems out there. Has that thing uh, fixed itself? It's tough to steer. I mean, I, I wouldn't say I don't have power steering, but it's definitely not keeping up. And then especially when I get traffic, you get the RPMs down and everything, the wheels just jerking out of my hand. So I'm having a hard time in traffic, but uh, so we're just kind of racing our running our own race here, but uh, we should be all right. Well, it looks like you and Scott got yourself in good position right now. You're doing a good job fighting that thing. Uh, how's this strategy going to play off for you? Feeling pretty good about it right now? We'll see here. We're going to lose some spots here definitely on the start, but uh, we couldn't afford to put tires on. We had to put tires on early, and, and um, uh, we just want to make sure we don't run out of tires at the end of this thing. So we can maintain back where we were running, you know, 5th, 6th, 7th there. Come in for the last stop, adjust on it. We're going to be in great shape and get this uh, great clip. Uh, All right, man. Well, thanks for talking to us. We appreciate it. Go get him. Andy, he made a very important comment there because they, they were running out of tires late in the race. And in this series, you are limited to just six sets of tires. That's for the whole weekend, not just for this race. They already burned up one of those sets in practice. So uh, they did, and they, and they made an early pit stop and used up a set of tires. So they just wanted to save it here and only had 20 laps on this set. So that's why they didn't put tires on. And you could use those tires later on, certainly as this race progresses. 